Hello again, everyone. Welcome to part three of the Beginner's Guide to Digital Notebooks and Planners. Um, today, we're going to talk about what to do when you begin. So you have your iPad, right? And you've got your stylus and you've chosen your app, right? So we're going to look at GoodNotes again today. And let's look at this. So what do you do when you begin? Well, you get GoodNotes. Let's get back to and you're gonna get a screen that looks like this. You're immediately, I don't care if you use GoodNotes or you use NoteShelf or Notability, immediately go to settings, all right? Go to settings and set everything up. Meticulously set it up. It's, it's um, gonna be key to your success. So first in GoodNotes, you're gonna go to handwriting recognition. You're gonna make sure it's selected English. Uh, document editing. There's a bunch of things here that you can select. Now, one of the most important things is your stylus and palm rejection. You're gonna make sure that your stylus is connected, okay? Then you're gonna to go to sensitivity. This is palm rejection. So um, play around with this. You get uh, low, medium, and high. And it basically, it's, it's based on what you've, um, set as your writing posture has all these different little settings like how do you write like my husband well he's left-handed so he's like he's up here and my other daughter she's left-handed and she's there um play around with you know the writing posture and what whoops we lost that there um the palm rejection it just automatically senses where your this part of your hand is gonna hit okay and so play around because if you're like, wow, it just doesn't seem to be writing like I thought it would or it seems a little off, it's it's most definitely these two settings, okay? And I have played around with the writing posture uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I kind of go from here and here, but I found for me how I write, it's this. So you're gonna wanna make sure you do those two things immediately. Then you're gonna, um, if you have other Apple products, you can set up to sync to the cloud. Now in GoodNotes, I have this on my, excuse me, I have GoodNotes on my phone and on my Mac. Oh, excuse me. Um, I mostly, I use it just for reference. I don't write on my Mac. I don't, or type on my Mac and use it that way. Um, I've only, on my phone, I've used it because I've been out, <laughs> although it's 2020 and I haven't actually been out that much, but I can, I, as a reference, more of a reference tool because I keep on my planner in GoodNotes and notebooks and all, everything is in GoodNotes for me. So it's just a nice little reference. Um, that's why I, I have it synced to the cloud. Um, you can send emails. I haven't set this up because I don't do that. Um, but you can look into it, but back up, okay? You want to back everything up. You want to make sure you set automatic backup uh, on. So I I use Dropbox. I don't know um, what you use. Maybe, um, I don't know what you use, but you want to make sure you set automatic backup. So every, every time you use it, it's going to back it up. And so you always have a, the current copy and you don't have to worry about it getting lost or, you know, deleted or anything like that. And again, I haven't had any problems. I mean, um, one thing you might want to do is, I don't know if you're on Reddit, but there is a, a really helpful uh, sub Reddit called just Good Notes, right? And join and read what people write. People write things all the time. They ask for help, they post tips, there's freebies, uh, you know, lots of, you know, oh, this isn't working, is it, is it not working for anyone else? Um, it's been very helpful for me as it, when I started off as a beginner to read other people's things. Um, and again, a lot of times, keep in mind that just because one person's having an issue, that doesn't mean you're gonna have an issue because everybody has a different setup. Um, but it is a nice, uh, helpful, tool if you're just starting out. Um, and then obviously they have uh, troubleshooting and good notes online. They have a lot of information as well that you'll want to become familiar with. So um, let me think, there was one more thing I wanted to tell you when you're just starting out. Shoot. Hmm. 
Oh well, it came and went, I guess. So if you need help, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to email me or message me. Um, I'm happy to help or I can also make a video if there's something that you want to see, I can do that as well. So thank you so much for um, joining me and I hope you enjoy your new setup. It's so exciting. Oh, wait, I know what it was. Hang on. Oh, when you begin, play with it, right? Play, 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 play. What I did when I, um, where am I? Where? Let's go here. No, write your name, right? Write, play with all of the pen settings. So you have fountain pen, ballpoint pen, brush pen, play with the sizes, get used to writing, figure out your style, right? I would sit and, and write the alphabet over and over and over. And I write my name, right? Until I got it. Absolutely. This is, I know, this is how I write my name. Well, actually, it's it's somewhat similar. I'm writing at a weird angle, but just write over and over and over. Don't be um, don't be hard on yourself if you don't get it right away. It took me one month of playing with this app to find my perfect pen setting and uh, thickness, and to just get used to writing. It takes a long it takes a long time. Well, maybe maybe it won't take you. It took me a long time to get used to just writing because. You know, I was getting used to the pen and the screen protector and everything. Um, figure out what works best for you. Also keep in mind, whatever you're using, um, whatever you're writing in or the designer, if you purchase a template, notebooks or planners on Etsy, the way that they've set up their document can affect your writing. So if you get used to um, writing in one notebook and then you buy a new notebook from a different planner and your writing is like off you'll probably have to adjust your settings based on what they've designed okay does that make sense because um everybody designs things a tiny bit differently so that is my um that is one helpful tip just don't be hard on yourself you'll get it you'll get the hang of writing um, but don't invest any money <laughs> this is another tip until you've gotten the hang of it. Because um, when I first started out, okay, where's this planner? I'm gonna use this planner. Nope, where am I? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I just have so many things open. Um, when I first started, I'm gonna go here. I noticed everybody was using this button. Okay, do you see this button? Right, so this is like a little, it highlights where you want to be and then down here you'd write we'll write hello okay my pen settings are not set up for this okay and then you'll see up here it comes up hello it was it was really weird um it's the reason you they did this or people use this is they want to write normally and fit it into a small spot okay i didn't like that i just wanted to be able to write on my ipad in a notebook or a planner like it was a piece of paper so when I so everything that I make whoops now I'm not there so everything that I make right uh, it is just like I have a notebook in front of me I don't have to zoom to make it fit right I, it's just I wanted it to be intuitive and natural because when you're writing on a notebook, you're not zooming in, you know, I just didn't like that. So, but that is a feature that a lot of people use. So play, play, play around with it, find your style. And then before, then once you have a grasp on what works for you, you know, do you like it portrait? Do you like it landscape? Um, then invest in, if you want, in notebook templates or planner templates, or then you can buy all the fun stuff. But Really, really play around with it first and then you'll find your style. So I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.